In this tutorial, I will show you how to wrap your text around the 3D object. Let's get started. So in Illustrator, we're going to continue with our glitter text we made last time. If you haven't made it yet, I'll be sure to leave a card in the right top above so you can check out that tutorial. Um, for this one, I'm continuing with my previous setup, but I did add a new background, which I will link in the description below. So we have our background and we have our glitter text. Now select your glitter text and in the symbol window, which you can activate by going to window and symbols if it's not visible, you drag your glitter text into that window and then you give it a name um, let's say big glitter and then press ok now you can either get this notification that the compound shape has to be expanded it's no problem we click ok if you get the notification that you cannot use a linked file that's um yeah that's a bit different uh, the thing there is that the file that you used the picture you used to make your glitter text has to be embedded into illustrator which you can do by if you go to file and you select place when you place there is a little checkbox at the bottom left which you can uncheck and then you embed it instead of uh, linking it so be sure to check that out if you didn't do that in the previous if you didn't do that when you made the text no worries you can save your text as a png and then place that png in your composition okay so we made a symbol out of our text we can hide the text now and we're going to take an ellipse tool and make an ellipse when you press the spacebar while making any kind of symbol, you can move it around without releasing it. Make sure your ellipse has a fill color, so no stroke, but a fill color. And then we select the scissor tool and we're going to cut the top and bottom anchor. With your selection tool, delete the left part and keep the right. If you delete the right and work with the left, you get sort of tube-like thingy in the next step, which is what we need. We want to have a sphere. So select your right part, go to Effect, 3D, and choose Revolve. And as you can see, you now get a sort of sphere, 3D sphere. For this one, we are going to choose Map Art, and then check the invisible geometry so you can see your Christmas ornament. And with symbol we're going to choose the pink glitter now you just have to play around with this make sure it fits the way you want it to fit maybe turn it a bit make it a bit bigger or smaller whatever you like And then I'm also going to choose the shading. So yeah, as with everything, just play around a bit until you get your text how you want it to be. then you press OK. In this window you can still play around a bit with the shading and the lighting. And then you press OK. And just like that, you have a glitter text which is mapped to 3D object. And in this case, I chose to map it around the 
glittery Christmas ornament. So you can keep playing around with it if you want to change something. Just select your half sphere and then in the appearance window, which also, if not visible, you can go to window and check appearance. You click 3D revolve here, then you can change everything like you want. So you can play around with the rotation. You can also change your text through map art. Here you can enlarge, replace everything you want. And then just clicking OK and OK. And you have your glitter text mapped to the 3D sphere. If you want something else than a sphere, you can choose to make, for example, a rectangle. And if you 3D re revolve a rectangle, you get a sort of tube-like thingy. Um, same thing here, you can map your art to it. Let's see, uh, pink glitter. And as you can see here, we're now mapping to the bottom of the tube. If that's not what you want, you can change the surface right here. And then you choose your glitter text again. Now you're mapping to the top. And third surface, you are mapping to the sides. So same thing, just choose the surface you want and then you can play around with it and you can choose to shade, change the shading, change the lighting. Um, you can do the same thing with a donut. To make a donut you make a little ellipse like this and then you 3D revolve also. As you can see here, we have a very flat donut-like thingy. And now we can change the offset to make it more like a donut. Also with this one, play around with it as you like. So that was it, the glitter text, the mapping to a 3D object, um, an ellipse for a sphere, a small ellipse for donut and a rectangle to create a tube-like thingy. So that was it for this tutorial, um, hope you liked it, you learned something new. Please uh, leave a comment below what you think about it, like it if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already and I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you.